It's day three of MAGFest, and I am with Dave, the creator of Starship Horizons. Yep. Hey there. So you started this as a pet project. A pet project in uh, 2012, uh, and uh, it's really a, a team-based experience, uh, kind of akin to Star Trek, where you have six people assuming different roles as bridge officers in, a, in, in various missions. So you have your captain, your flight officer, tactical sciences, or, uh, operations, engineering, uh, and all of them have different touch screens that they actually use to um, perform their duties. So no one crew member can actually control the ship on their own. It takes that entire crew working together uh, to play. This is uh, basically a server-based game, so one copy of the game will allow six people to play, and uh, you actually just play in your browser, so that's a, a browser there, but let's... Uh, we can hear it kind of over to the side. Let's take a look over here. We have a crew plane right now, and they're in the middle of one of their missions. You can see the captain there issuing orders. And there's a good handful of missions, so as they uh, play one and succeed, they can move on to the next chapter and the next part of the story. So here at MAGFest, there's a wait list, correct? Uh, we run uh, three bridges, t traditionally, uh, on the hour, and uh, that books up pretty quickly. We get, tend to get a lot of people that will kind of hover to see if anybody's canceled, uh, wait waitlisting-wise, yes. And so people can play at home, right? Right, it's available on Steam, we're in early access, but they can play the exact same experience at home using tablets or laptops, you know, and put the uh, the main viewer on their big TV in their living room uh, and just kind of hang around on the couch and play. Where can they access your Discord server? Uh, it's um, the, the links are available at starshiprices.com and on the Steam store page as well. There's a thousand different star systems in the base map, and each star system has its own number of planets and orbiting clusters and asteroid fields and things like that. You know, there's a lot of other games out there that have that kind of 4X kind of feel in terms of going out into the universe, but we, we try to create a big universe to explore, and we try to also uh, honor a lot of the, uh, the rules of things like Goldilocks zones where there could be habitable planets, so the further a planet out, the more likely it has a cold atmosphere or is just a cold rock, things like that. You know, planets closer to a star are going to be very hot and, think, and you'll see that in a lot of space games too. What was your development process? How did you create that? So it's written in C-sharp. Uh, the current version is actually written in .NET 6. Uh, so uh, it's right now it runs on Windows, uh, but we'll actually be moving this year to multi-platform, so it'll run on Mac OS and Linux. And uh, the server right now, as I said, runs on Windows, but only the server needs to do that. Everything else is HTML5. So all of the clients that you see in some of the videos we've been doing here uh, are just Chrome web browsers. So that means you can run on a tablet, on a Chromebook, on a phone, on a Raspberry Pi, anything like that. Oh, really? On a phone? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. You got a browser on your phone, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's true because a lot of people are playing a lot of like internet back. People are going on the phone and uh, on their PC. Okay, awesome. Anything else you want to add? No, just uh, hey, thanks, uh, thanks for checking us out and uh, come see us on Discord or uh, visit us on Steam. All right, definitely will. And you also have merchandise, correct? Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, the Space Navy Exchange. Uh, you can actually get t-shirts for the different roles, for the academy, uh, patches for the different roles. And we do have those available online, too. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.